Six months ago, I created this Opus Clip tutorial. So to explain you what Opus Clips is, take a look at this example. And since then, a lot has changed. And no, I'm not talking about my boring review style. I'm talking about all the new features that Opus Clip has to offer. With Opus Clip, you can do the following things. You can convert long videos into shorts. You can add custom style captions and add B-roll that has been generated with AI. And it also allows you to export your clips to Adobe Premiere files where you can edit them even further. Besides that, one of my favorite features is that you can now also export 3 to 10 minute video clips within Opus. And all of this combined makes Opus Clip one of the best clipping tools that is currently out there. So let me give you an example of what you might use this for. I can take this one hour podcast, turn it into five 10 minute episodes like Joe Rogan also does. And then also for my one hour podcast, I can turn it into like 30 short with the help of AI. Now that entire process will take you about 20 minutes to generate with Opus Clip. And that is literally insane. So let me show you how all of this works and let me start off by showing you how you can create clips from your videos. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, then make sure to click the link in the description down below. All we have to do is drop in a video. So we copy one right here, put it in there. This can be any type of file and we can click on get free clips. Here we can select what kind of style we want to have on our video. So choose the one that you like the most. For example, I like this one. Then we can select what type of clips we want to have. So first I select the genre of my video. For me, this is marketing. Then you can select what your preferred clip length is. I will just keep it on auto because I want to have this clip, this clip, this clip, and these kind of clips. So auto will be best for me. And then all we have to do is to click on this button and now our clips will be generated. This takes around 20 minutes. Luckily, I've already done this beforehand. So let me show you the clips that I've generated. This is the first clip and let's have a quick look. Because let's say you edit a video and it gets 1 million views, but there aren't proper systems set up, then that 1 million views means nothing to them. I've actually made this mistake before where my clip so yeah, that looks pretty good already. And let me explain what we're seeing on the screen right now. So it automatically ranks the video in terms of like the hook, the flow. And in terms of the flow, it's meaning like if it is logical, if it makes sense what you're saying, then we have the engagement and it gives you a full breakdown of why it has like a A-level engagement on this video. And then we have the trend, if it is trending in terms of this video. So that's how you get a score for all of your clips. Honestly, I wouldn't take this too seriously, but for me, it helps to see like what kind of clips have been generated and which one it thinks it's the best one. So now we have, let me see, we have around 14 clips from a 16 minute video. So that's pretty good actually. Now, not all of the clips are that great, but Let's actually start editing one and then we can see for ourselves what it looks like. So now we can get started with editing or clip. And if you're a bit overwhelmed at what you're seeing, don't worry, I will explain to you. Over here on the left hand side, we see our transcript of the video. Now, all the words that have been striked through is not included in your clip. If you want to have these sentences in your clip, then what you have to do is you click on a word where you want it to start. Then you say set as start. Now I'm not gonna do it because I like the start of this video, but that's basically how the transcript work. So you can kind of like edit from your transcript itself. Now, if you want to have the video cut off earlier, then you can do that also. All you have to do is you click on the word where you want it to cut off. So for example, right here, and then we say set as end. Now this will be the end of your clip. Besides that, you can also change the framing of your clip. We do that by clicking on the screen and here we can see, we can drag it over. So we can select, for example, if you're out of shot or you want to readjust it a little bit, then you can do that right there. Now we also have our video split up into different parts and we can also trim it if we'd like to. So for example, we can split it if we want. And then this way we can add custom things on there. Now we can design our clip. And here we have a few different options. First of all, we can add stock footage or AI clips to our video. Now we do that by clicking on generate B-rolls. And here we have two options with stock or with AI. Now I'm just going to do it with AI to show you. Then we toggle this on and now it will start generating AI B-roll for our video. 
So here on the timeline, you can see we have six different parts where AI B-roll has been added. And let me actually watch this clip to see what it looks like. Use means nothing to them. I've actually made this mistake before where my client got over. So sometimes you run into this issue where the B-roll isn't related to what you're saying. And here, let me see what the prompt is so we can see what the issue is and see how we can fix that. So in my opinion, this prompt is too complicated to make a good looking image. So it asks it to create an overflowing traffic funnel and it has taken that to literally. So yeah, it sees like traffic and then a funnel and it doesn't make sense. So what you can do is if you don't like it, you can click on delete or you can rephrase the prompt to make it to something that you'd like. And for this, I would suggest keep it simple because the simpler your instructions are, the less amount of info the AI has to fuck it up. Okay, so during this section, I'm talking about making a mistake. So what I'm gonna do instead is writing a prompt about a guy face palming um, so it makes more sense. So here we have a bunch of different options from what we can choose from. And personally, I like this one the most. Means nothing to them. I've actually made this mistake before where my client got. Now this makes a lot more sense. And you can do this for all of the B-roll that you have. Keep in mind, you can also generate it with the stock footage that they have. And that one is also pretty good. Besides adding stock footage, you can also change the font of your text. So right now I'm using this font. And what we can also do is we can use the Mosey font. We can use the Ali Abdal font or we can use any other font that we like. So once you have a selected a font that you'd like, you can change the lines per caption. So you can do three lines or you can keep it at one line. I would suggest keeping it at one line because you don't want to have too much text on the screen. Now we can add a transition if we want to have that. So if you turn this on, then you can have a transition like a bounce, an underline, anything that you can imagine, you can literally do that in here. We can also change the position, but the auto placement is pretty good. So for example, if someone jumps up on the screen, then it will jump up with that or it will change the position for that. If you want to have it specific, then you can do it to top, middle or bottom. And I just like to keep it on bottom because that's the most usual placement for text. You can change the font, uppercase all text, colors, shadows, all of that. And once you're happy with your text, you can just simply click on save and compile. And now it will save that version and then you can download it. Now that your video has re-rendered, you can now click on download. So you can click download right here, or you can download the Adobe XML file. And what this will do is this will give you a file that you can use in Adobe Premiere, where you have a different text overlay and you can edit it even further in there. So let's say you want to add in your custom B-roll, anything like a logo or something like that, you can edit that in Adobe Premiere. So it gives you like more options to edit your clips faster. The next feature that I want to show you is to make longer clips from your videos. And actually this is very useful. This is something that Joe Rogan does all the time. So remember Joe Rogan had a deal with Spotify where he was only allowed to upload his full episodes on Spotify. And what he did was pretty amazing. He took like 10 minute clips, like you can see right here, 10 minute, three minutes, 40 minute clips from his podcast, and he uploaded those on YouTube. And he's actually generating a shit ton of money from re-uploading these clips onto a different platform like YouTube. And you can do so too. So if you have a podcast, or even if you have for example, a YouTube video. I did that actually with this YouTube video that I have right here. So what you can do is you can take the link from your episode. So let me take one like this. Then we can copy it. And then we put it into Opus Clip. And here we have a few options. So you can just select like the template that you like again. But then if you select the five minute and the 10 minute clip, then you get like longer clips which you can use into your YouTube channel. And that way you can easily repurpose your content without it costing you a lot of time. You don't have to render out all these separate clips. Opus Clip will also go through it for you and it will find like the best 10 minute clips in that segment. So I just only see win-win. So you can literally repurpose your content in terms of like long form, but also in the short form. So 
use this wisely if you have longer videos. Now, the last part that I want to show you before I move over to the pricing and discuss that with you is the Opus Clip Captions. This is a free tool where you can add captions to shorter clips. Let's say, for example, you record a Instagram Reel or a YouTube Short. You can just import them right away in Opus Clip Captions. And we'll leave the link for this in the description down below. It's literally opus.pro slash captions. And then once you upload your clip, you can add any type of subtitles to it. So you can just import any type of clip that you have. You open it, then it uploads really, really fast. Usually this takes less than a minute for for example, as I'm talking right now, it's already almost done. And then what you can do is you can select the font that you like, and then it will do this for you. So literally, I can just select this BT font, add, caption, add captions in one click, and now it starts generating my captions in Harpy. So this tool is free to use for anyone. Remember, you will get a watermark if you use the free version, but if you already have the pro plan, then this will have no watermark at all. So now that also brings me to the pricing. How much does it cost and which plan is the best one for you? To get started with Opus Clip, you have three options. You can either use the free plan, which gives you like 60 minutes per month. And it also has a watermark on there. So if you don't want to have that, then you have to go with either the starter or the pro plan. And the pro plan right now has been discounted to cost only $9.50 per month, which is like 50 cents more expensive than the start plan. So if you want to have all the features, then I would suggest using the pro plan. But let's actually take a look if we bill it monthly, then we go back to $19 per month. So if you want to have Opslip the most affordable price, then you have to go with the yearly plan. Now with the pro plan, you get some more advanced features like the AI B-roll, like the ability to like export it to Adobe Premiere. You can also have it to schedule it on your social media. You have access to all of those features on the pro plan. So if you want to try this out for yourself, then click the link in the description down below. Now, if you want to see more videos where I use Opus to generate like viral AI clips, then check out the video that's on the screen right now.